Hello friends, welcome to my channel. Today we have a double feature for you. I went to a church rummage sale and I also went to the Share and Care in Berlin. Both of these trips were just quick stops that I had to get the job done, if you know what I mean, and I didn't have time to take footage. So I thought I'd combine them for a nice little haul. Are you ready to see what I got? Let's get started. We're gonna start off with the church rummage sale. Church rummage sales are the best for good prices, or should I say great prices. And while I was there at this church rummage sale, they said everything's half price. So everything I got was half price. So it was a great deal. I got all of this stuff I'm gonna show you for $4. First of all, I will tell you that they had tables, which is a very smart idea, and they had things marked with codes. Whoops. <laughs> I have that dropsies lately. They had things coded, so they didn't have to price everything individually, and yet somebody couldn't switch, you know, tags or something and get away with the wrong price. So I got this. I like to use these. I better be careful. <laughs> I might end up with a sore nose or something. I like to use these in my decor, and I also like to use them in my booth. So I don't really remember what the prices are were because of the half off thing, but just know I got all this for $4. And then I have a weakness for these beautiful glass jars. And I got this. Let's see if it even had a tag on it. Yeah, this was a red tag. I have a feeling this was 50 cents. And I'm gonna say probably the little stand was a quarter. And then this was purple tag. I know I went back and forth about this. I thought somebody might want to use this for a purse. Or I think it's really meant for vegetables when you're shopping at the grocery store. Isn't it cool? Reminds me of the 70s. I think that was marked like $4. And then I got this for my granddaughter. She's going to love this. A Barbie car. I had one. Of course, mine was an older model, <laughs> vintage, but I got this for probably for a dollar because it was two dollars before the half price sale went on. These have a price tag of a quarter on. I'm not sure how that happened, so these would have been 13 cents. I just love taper candles, and if I don't need them at home, I can use them to stage candlesticks I'm selling in my booth. I also love to pick up thank you cards or note cards. These were brand new in package. They're from Hallmark. And then they say, with a thankful heart, aren't they darling? And there's six of those, brand new. And also six of these, the same thing, expressions from Hallmark. Thank you cards. And they are blank inside. And then this package, it looks to me like maybe a Target kind of thing. It says, note cards, blue thanks. I'll show you those. So there's seven in this package, and that looks like maybe they used one. It doesn't really say. So I'm going to guess they used one. I thought the, the envelopes were a weird color for with the blue, but I probably have white envelopes I can use for those, and I just thought they were really cute. All right, that's everything except for one item from the rummage sale, which I'll put a clip in right here. Let's go on location here to my patriotically decorated hutch. This is the item that we also got at the rummage sale. Mom was, Mom was with me and she picked this out. And it's put out by the VA. It's a beautiful book and the pictures are so nice. And it talks about America. So she's really enjoyed looking at this. Isn't it beautiful? I love that with the bridge and the flag on the side. And it's just a real simple book. Very patriotic. And then she also got a really nice pen that was attached to this. And I do remember the book was marked 25 cents. So with us getting the 50% off, we got it for 13 cents. Aren't the pictures so nice? Oops, I think I skipped a page. Let's 
look at that. <laughs> Ooh, fireworks. Nice ending there with the soldier being hugged probably by their child. So, yeah, I thought that was a good deal for 13 cents. Here's the pen that she got. It's a really nice pen and it writes really nice. So it was kind of attached like that. And I think this was in cellophane. All right, let's move on to the share and care in Berlin. I love going to this store and my aunt was in from Washington and her and my other aunt that's local here went to Amish country for the day. So I didn't want to take up a lot of time and film, but I did snag a couple things for my booth. So I got this Coke glass and this was 25 cents. So I will be putting that in my booth. I kind of specialize in Coke whenever I find it. I I buy it for my booth and I have a little area and this was really pretty. I got this for 50 cents. Unfortunately, there's not any markings on the bottom, so I can't tell you anything about it, but I just think there's kind of a blue craze going on. At least I think it's still going on. So I hope somebody would like to take that home with them from my booth. And then my husband's been collecting these. I got these for a dollar. And then I saw these zinc lids for a dollar each. These are pretty rare, I think, or if not rare, then expensive. So I love canning jars. So I got these for my canning jars, dollar a piece. Now we're in my kitchen, and this was the very first item that I saw when I walked into the share and care and I scooped it up. It was only 75 cents. And I'm pretty proud that it's still alive and thriving. <laughs> I also found this, and right away I thought of my friend Melody, because she has a Hello Kitty bathroom. And I'm filming this now because she's here right now at my house. I'm here. <laughs> she's here. <laughs> then she, here, she likes Buzz Lightyear. <laughs> <laughs> that was perfect. So this it was 50 cents. And what year did we say? Did we say what year it was from, Melody? 1976, but then it says 2004. Okay. So, Almost yeah. Vintage. Almost vintage. Oh, there's a tag on it here. Made in China. Yeah, doesn't say how much it was. But anyway, she's going to use that in her bathroom, right? Yep. So 50 cents. What a deal. And here's Buzz, the star of this clip. <laughs> Enter the Hello Kitty bathroom. Here is the Kleenex cover. Kitty got me. There's a little bow sticker because that's what Hello Kitty wears. When we bought the house eight years ago, it came with this lovely pink ceramic tile, but in good condition, so why not go with it? So we rolled with it and I turned it into a Hello Kitty bathroom. There's a few little decor pieces, catnip, cat grass. Shower curtain. She's peeking in on the plant. There's some catnip, actual catnip plant. And you got your shower curtain. And clock. Did you know that Hello Kitty's last name is White? That's for Hello Kitty White. Fun fact. We move back so I'm not seen in the mirror. And you have. Your bathroom necessities, got the sink, and the light switch, and a nightlight, and then these drawers. Oh, there's just a sticker on that one. On this one, there's Hello Kitty paper. And of course, trash can. So there is my Hello Kitty bathroom.
Thanks, Carol, for the Kleenex cover. And then my last item is for my booth. And you can let me know if you think I should wait till spring to put these in my booth. But I got this cute little pair of lambs and they are home co shows on the back and they were made in the USA. So let's hold them up again. I'll put them. Let's see. I guess they would want to be facing each other. And these were 25 cents a piece. So I'm going to sell those. Let me know. Should I hang on to them till spring or should I just go for it now? <laughs> That's everything I got. I would love to know if you have a favorite item. Let's see. Oh, no, it's not everything I got. There's another item here. I'm sorry. This was from the rummage sale. I missed this guy. I told you before, I've always drawn to Avon. This is Avon Grecian Pitcher Skin So Soft Bath Oil. So originally it was a quarter, so I got that for 13 cents. I thought it would be kind of cute for somebody to sit on their vanity mirror, like their dresser things. I don't know, that's just what I thought. All right, now I have to pick a favorite. Well, my favorite thing for a gift is this because I know it's gonna make my granddaughter so happy. And then my favorite thing to sell I think it's going to have to be this macrame type bag. I thought that was a really good find. So go down to the comments below and leave me a comment. If you don't have a favorite thing, just say hi. I love getting comments and interacting with you there. At the end of this video, I'm going to link another video that I think you'll enjoy. If you'd like to follow me on Instagram, I'll link that below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.